Oh, hey guys, so this will be a sort of an unboxing and like a small review of the OS55 AX engine. Uh, now as you can see from the box, the box is quite old. Actually this engine was bought way back, I think it's in 2010. But it was never opened, uh, you know, it was never fired up, there was no break-in procedure, nothing was done. It has just been lying like this. So today I thought I'll just take the engine out. So let's start. As soon as you open the box, the first thing that you're going to see is the OS 55AX manual. You remove it. Uh, then you'll be treated with a muffler. Uh, so these are the new design mufflers, you know. Uh, they are much more of a cylindrical shape now rather than uh, the uh, box one uh, which was there. It still can be opened from here and here and can be used or can be moved in any direction you feel like. So we'll just keep it aside and has a nipple over here uh, for your exhaust pipe. The second thing that you're gonna see is the engine itself. Now this engine has never been opened up. Uh, it has been kept like this forever now. So we'll just take the engine out. Um, so here is the 55X engine. Uh, as you can see the engine has never been fired up. So you can see if I go on and I open the board up a bit, you can see it's completely clear. Nothing is there. So uh, the engine is quite of compact size. It's much like the 46 AX uh, which was produced uh, I think so way back. Now the 46 AX2 has come into the market. The major difference which I can say is the needle valve has been moved uh, from back here which was connected via uh, I think so a needle plate and has been brought into the car. Now I really don't like this design, you know, your fingers are more near the propeller than ever. I think so the back plate design was much more better. But uh, then again, they might have done something for the compact for the compactness of this engine maybe. Moving away. After uh, this you will see that your box has your original glue plug. I think so this is the OS number 8, has never been opened as I said before. And this is your set screws uh, for your muffler and this is your needle extension quite good after this it's nothing it's just engine so yeah the oil is still there from the factory now the major difference between this engine and the 46 ax or the old, all old engine is that uh, there's a slight taper over here uh, inside the bow uh, so if you move the engine up uh, when it's cool you can definitely see that there is some kind of stopping uh, uh, going on you know it's not very smooth so some people thought that there is something wrong with the engine. There is nothing wrong uh, with the engine. The only thing is that it's a proper ABN design. So if you, if I go away and start moving it away, I'll see that it's not going up properly. See, it's tight. It's tight at the bow. It's tight at the CDC uh, range. You know, uh, the reason being there's a slight taper over here. As soon as your engine reaches the working temperature, there is, there will be no issue at all. So maybe before you start this engine or fire it up, I think so you should go on and heat it up a bit. Uh, that being said about the engine, there is also a one more a very big issue that has been coming and arising up. In the manual, it says that you should break it, uh, this engine by a 12 by 8 prop or by a 12 by 6 prop. Uh, now, uh, many people have said that uh, the prop which has been mentioned in the manual, I think it's somewhere over here. Mm, just a second. Okay. Uh, see, I, I told you this, this is the taper that I was talking about. Uh, like a lot of people have said that the see oh yeah uh, the sport is written as 12 by 8 13 by 6 now uh, in various rc group or be it rc universe or rc india organization uh, a lot of people have said that uh, maybe using a 12 by 8 prop is not a very good idea uh, i decided to go with an 11 by 6 prop for it the master a screw 11 by 6 prop of the s2 series is a perfect prop for this it's quite enough, it will give you a good amount of speed and if you really, really want to go with the manual, I think so you should go with the 12x4 uh, or the 12 by 12 into 4.5. Do not go with the 12 by 8 it's too much uh, for this uh, uh, petite engine. So I think this would be it, I'll be soon firing it up and I'll be soon breaking it in. So I'll be giving a video for that as well. So I'll see you back then and again, uh, like in most of your OS engine, you have your decal sheet at the last over here. The booklet is quite good, you, uh, you know the break-in procedure is very simple, you keep it uh, transforming it from the 4 stroke to the 2 stroke sound and you follow it down. The low speed uh, needle valve is here, it's uh, from the factory setting, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, you know set at the high, high early, I think the richer side and you have your high speed needle valve over here. As I told you as I've said before I'm not a very big fan of this one. So guys, I'll take a leave now. I think so. I've solved quite a bit of things. Thank you.